Being an emotional fitness coach, I practice David Hawkins techniques of letting go almost daily. And I found a way to make it almost instantly letting go of any type of emotions that I feel. And in this video, I'm going to go through with you exactly how to get this technique working for you. And what simple mind phrases you can say to even make it more smoother. Hi, my name is Oscar and I help people raise their vibration and share their gift with the world. And in this video, I'm going to go through with you how you can make the letting go technique work for you smooth as butter. So when it comes to letting go, some people might think it's very difficult <clears throat> to practice this technique because it has to do with how you're directing your consciousness at a specific point. And that has to do with focus. You have to be incredibly focused and still at that moment. And in order to really get in to sensing where the emotion is in our body, we have to become aware of our body first. And that's why we do something that's called the body scan, right? The body scan is that you basically focus on your feet and then you move all the way up until your body. And from there, if you want to give, go even further, because the thing is, is that emotions are not necessarily always only stuck in your body. It is stuck around you as well. So when you scan through your body, expand your awareness outwards to perceive the field that is around you too. Then we, you might start noticing that there are some densities. You know, there's a stuckness there. And when you perceive that stuckness, you can put your attention there. But that's the whole thing, right? First, if an emotion comes, start detecting where it is in your body and you have to do the body scan for that. Secondly, once you've detected that emotion, it is to be with your awareness on it and staying there. Staying there with the mindset that you know that it just needs attention and that it's there in order for it to be let go of. And it will let go when it is time to do so. So not forcing it because forcing it is the same as you're not accepting the now. You have to be in acceptance of the now for what you're focusing on to be released. So be in total accept acceptance for the emotion that is there, feeling it, being with it, holding it now. That's the physicality or that's the focus part of it. There is a technique that helps this becoming easier. And when you start sensing that the acceptance is occurring inside of you. And it's called the Sedona method. And I'm going to help you with the Sedona method in this video. So you can listen to it and start practicing this on yourself. 
So I'd like you right now just to breathe in through your nose first. And then out through your mouth. And then you breathe in and you breathe into your stomach and then into your chest. So first and then into your chest and then out. <sighs> Very good. Now, when we do this, we're going to say a mantra. And the mantra is very simple. The mantra goes, can I let this go? It's like a question asking to yourself, but also an asking to higher powers. And as you're asking that, you're also going to hear if you're getting a yes, or a no. It's like a perception of whatever it is that you're trying to look at and see if you can get it to let and you can get a yes or a no for it. Okay. And you do this as you're breathing in. So you're going to breathe in with your nose and then at that point, when you breathe in, you, you ask yourself with the emotion that you're holding your focus on, if you can let it go. And then you breathe out and then you hear if it is a yes or a no. So let's do this together. Okay. So breathe in through your nose, into your belly. Ask yourself for the emotion that you're having. Can I let this go? Feel if it is a yes or no as you're breathing out. Do it again in through, into your nose, into your belly and then into your chest. Can I let this go? Is it a yes? Is it a no? Now realize that regardless if it is a yes or a no, you've already asked for permission to let it go. So a process has happened, has started to happen inside of you. And you can use this for anything. Now, you can make this even further and you just change the mantra because sometimes can I let it go can be a little bit harsh. So you can ask, would I let this go? Yes or no. And then you can ask, could I just for this moment, just for now? Just as much as I can, let this go and see if it's a yes or a no. Most of the time, when you come to this very easy part, right? Just for this moment, letting it go. Your body, the way you are with that emotion that might feel harsh becomes more soft, right? There's a gentleness to the touch. There's a tenderness in your way of being with whatever it is that's occurring, which is making it so much easier to be in acceptance for it. And then you can ask, could I let this go? even more yes or no and you can just keep practicing this and don't feel that it needs to be a yes as i'm saying yes or no is irrelevant so just hold that for you hold that space Hold that acceptance 
Just be with this little ache, right? Can I let this go? Yes. Would I let this go? Oh, absolutely. Could I let this go even more? Yeah. Right? Just feel that. Working with emotions is a lot about gentleness, especially when it's the wounded ones, right? When it is the negative ones, when it is those that, that we have a little bit of an ickiness for. So scanning our body, putting our awareness on it, being there, staying in acceptance, gently asking for permission of letting it go will make it happen and will smooth out the emotion. So again, can I let this go? Would I let this go? Yeah, yeah, I would. When can I let this go? Now or later? Mm. Later. Mm. You know, it is okay, regardless of answer you're having. just you starting a conversation, a communication with your inner self, not forcing it to letting it go. But by you just being in the process, it will happen. Now, at some cases, regardless what you do, it can be harder because you might need to go to deeper recesses within yourself. And I'm going to do a video about how to do that too. But for now, be gentle with yourself, care for yourself, and just practice this technique with gentleness. And you will see that your way of softening for yourself will happen. And that's what's called self-love. So that's it for today's video, guys. Practice this technique. Comment below what you think of it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, love, and joy to all of you. Bye for now.